Um, so ladies and gentlemen, we talked about complex numbers. We talked about complex numbers. Then one thing complex numbers, we have A plus BI. Then we talked about the equality of complex numbers, where if I say A plus BI is equal to C plus DI, therefore A equals C and B equals D. So let's look at an example of when that would be true. So let's start with something easy, and then I'll work with something a little more difficult. Let's say I gave you um, A plus BI is equal to 5 minus 7i. Okay, so then I said find the values of A and find the values of B, right? So if I said here's this complex number, what are the values of this complex number? Well, by using our, our um, equality of complex numbers, we could say, Dimitri, A is equal to what? Five. Five. And then B is equal to what, Sean? Seven. Negative seven. You guys see how that works? Pretty basic in that example, right? Let's do something a little bit more abstract. So what happens it's representing an imaginary number in the imaginary number system. I'll go back through and I can explain it to you again, but right now I'll right now I gotta go through video. I can go back through and explain the imaginary system to you again in a second. So for right now, let's look at this problem. So here's a little bit more complex, right? But your same thing applies. You're going to use the same properties to apply. If A plus BI is equal to C plus DI, is this a complex number? Yes, you have an, I, you have an imaginary part and you have a real. Is this a complex number? You have an imaginary and you have a real, so yes. So since these are complex numbers, if I want to figure out what is the value of x and what is the value of y? Well, the value of x, this is what? Is that a real or imaginary? Real. So that's like the same thing as my a. So this has to equal what over here? 7. So you write 3x minus 5 equals 7. Then over here, we could say, what's this part? Is that, re is that, well, it's a real part, but is it part of my imaginary or my real part of my complex number? It's part of my imaginary number. It's representing a real number, though. So I write y minus 3 has to equal, yes, Justin? 6. Very good. Because that's the coefficient of your i for your other complex number. See how the coefficients have to equal the coefficients? Now, can we find the values of x and y? Yeah. yeah. Add 5. x equals 4, y equals 9. There you go. So what we can do is we can use the equality of complex numbers to help us find different values. And that's way some way it would be um, helpful for us. Yes? Okay, I understand this, but I just do not see the point of i in this equation whatsoever. OK, well, I, like I said, we'll go back through and I can explain i again for you. Yes? We'll talk about that in a second. We'll just go through that. 